the GCD of two positive integers can also be expressed as their linear combination like GCD of a comma b is equal to a s times a plus t times b and this algorithm this extended Euclidean algorithm helps us to find the value of s and the value of t for example let us take a is equal to 161 and b is equal to 28 and uh, we already know how to find the GCD of a and b using the Euclidean algorithm and we will see how to extend that algorithm to find the value of s and t to find the value of s we will need two more variables s1 and s2 initially s1 is equal to 1 and s2 is equal to 0 to find the value of t we will need two more variables t1 and t2 and initially the value of t1 is 0 and t2 is 1 s is calculated using the formula s1 minus q times s2 t is calculated using the formula t1 minus q times t2 let us calculate as for the first iteration now which is equal to 1 minus 5 times 0 which is equal to 1 and uh, the value of t for the first iteration will be 0 minus 5 times 1 which is equal to minus 5 we will make a shift now for the second iteration s1 is now 0 and s2 is now 1 t1 is now 1 and t2 is now minus 5 and the value of s can be calculated using this formula which is equal to minus 1 now and uh, the value of t from this formula will be now 6 so we will make one more shift to go into that high iteration s1 is now 1 and s2 is now minus 1 t1 is now minus 5 and t2 is now 6 so the value of s for the third iteration can be calculated using the formula for s which is equal to 4 and uh, the value of t is equal to minus 23 we will make one more shift s1 is equal to minus 1 now and s2 is equal to 4 t1 is now 6 and t2 is now minus 23 and now we have actually found the value of s and t s is equal to minus 1 and t is equal to 6 so we can also verify this like 7 is equal to minus 1 times 161 plus uh, 6 times 28 this 6 and this uh, s this is a and this is b and this is the GCD of A comma B.